Hello and welcome to the channel, I am your host, The Eradicator, and in this video we will be covering 5 upcoming space titles that I believe we should be looking for. Also note that not all of those titles are new IPs nor entirely new games as one of them is actually an expansion, but each of these titles are in my opinion unique and will provide players with their own unique twists and will grant us many hours of escapism far away from our reality, which is what we want from our space games and the reason we love them. So what are those 5 titles? Well let's start with number 5 right now. Number 5 X4 Ahoy! Now this may seem like a strange title, but there have been numerous leaks from actual official vectors, especially throughout investor documentation, and so we have reasons to believe that soon Egosoft, the developers of the X series, will announce their first expansion for their current lead title X4, which uh, I have been covering a bit in this channel, and that this expansion will be called Ahoy, or at least according to these documents this is the working title, and even though I've got to say that it sounds pretty darn cool uh, for a working title, uh, you may have guessed that this expansion will focus primarily on piracy, which is an actual thing in X4, but it's also an afterthought, and feels more like a placeholder than an actual game mechanic. The parrot factions in the game, for example, do not really have an economy and the only thing they do is building space stations and plundering trade routes, but when they do so, the parrot ships are just events that appear in the game universe without any simulated genesis or reasons behind their acts. They just appear to be there and do their things because the developers programmed them to do so. Their ships were not built in a shipyard, nor were they captured. The parrots in X4 right now therefore do not have a running economy, nor are there any clear mechanisms player can use to join their ranks. Rumor is that this expansion will be addressing these issues and make piracy a viable lifestyle and career in the game, and I cannot wait for this expansion to start my own criminal empire in X4. Hopefully, we should have more information about this expansion throughout this summer, and you can be sure that we'll be talking about it in this channel. Number 4. Rap Space Rap Space is an independent space combat and exploration game that's already been under development for over 3 years. What I like about this title is its simplicity and overall design, which reminds me of the games of my childhood which were made at a time when computing power was obviously not what it is today, and thus limited how game environments were visually represented. This made us compensate what we couldn't see or what could not be simulated with our own imagination, and this is the feeling that I have when I am looking at Rat Space. It's this cute little space game with these cute little planetoids and these cute creatures, and the game feels cute not because of the design, but because of how hard and how far it tries with its own limitations, and this is what makes it interesting, to me at least. Now, if you guys remember how Shovel Knight brought back the old 2D platformer genre and refurbished it with 21st century tech, well, this is what Rat Space is attempting to do with this title, and that is one of the reasons I've decided to support it. I just love the idea. Now, that being said, Rat Space will also bring to the table game elements that players of the genre love, such as uh, space combat, of course, but also exploration, old school FPS combat, salvaging, base building, and all in third and first person. The plot will revolve around a mysterious event that caused the dislocation of the system's planets, involving aliens, of course, and a set of underground bases that will allow you to find the answer. Now, how are you going to revolve this mystery is up to you, and as you can see, it is very reminiscent of the space games of the 1990s in which the plots also revolved around the mystery players had to find answers to. The fun resides not so much in the action you'll get to experience, but more in what you, your mind will be able to make of it, and I cannot wait to see where my mind will go when it will be transported into the universe of Rat Space. Number 3. Galactic Civilizations 4 Stardox Galactic Civilization is an old single-player turn-based 4x space game franchise dating back from 1992, which was when the first game was released. 
What I like about the series is that it touches a lot of different thematics space enthusiasts are familiar with, especially in regards to the Fermi Paradox, which wonders about where everyone else is if we are not alone in the universe, and each of the various races of the franchise seem to be giving a possible answer, as some just remain in hiding because there's an uber predatory species that would literally eat them alive or enslave them, or because another civilization created an AI that decided that it would take over the universe for itself. Some other civilizations see mankind as inferior and not worthy of having a conversation with until you reach a certain development. But one of Galaxy's biggest strengths, in my opinion, is its ship creator mode, which allows you to design the ships of your civilization and it that it will be using in the campaign. I remember having spent so much time in Galaxy 2 and 3 designing the best possible fighters, frigates, and cruisers with my latest technologies, only to be annihilated in one swift stroke by a superior alien race. My proud, supposedly invisible fleet of destroyers got insta-killed by the few alien ships I thought I would easily dispose of, which of course made me wretch quit every time, but it also made me want to try again in the new game to figure out and learn what went wrong and how I would be able to overcome the challenges next time. Now, why am I waiting for the next installment instead of playing the already great Galactic Civilizations 3? Well, Galaxy 4 is going to modernize the way the game is played, especially in regards to how populations work and how colonies are managed. The old world maps will be replaced by something closer to what Stellaris has to offer. Combat sequences, both in space and on ground, are going to see significant changes too, and this is going to be a fresh wind of change for a series that has not changed so much since its creation and needs to renew itself in order to keep players interested. An alpha version will be available before the summer, according to Stardock, and you can be sure that we'll be checking it for you guys here in future videos. Number 2. Falling Frontier Imagine the visual fidelity of Star Citizen packaged into a traditional RTS game. This is what Falling Frontier is going to be. On top of usual resource exploiting and management, Falling Frontier will feature the other aspects of classic 4X gameplay, expansion, exploration, extermination. Expansion in a way that you will start on a single planet and you will have to find a way to conquer your entire star system, something you will be sure will not be an easy task as you won't be the only actor in the game having that objective. To be able to do so, you will have to explore in order to find suitable resources, but also the location of your enemies or potential allies. And finally, extermination, as just like in any other good strategy game, you will have to dispose of anyone who stands in your way. Where Final Frontier's strength lies, in my opinion, is how detailed micromanagement is going to be. Take ship design, for example. You'll be able to customize not only its hardpoints, such as the guns, but also its internal components too, giving each ship you'll design a unique loadout depending on the role you intend to use it for. I also find the overall scope of the game fascinating, as you get to oversee the entire source system, and then you'll be able to zoom to a fraction of it almost to a human perspective to see how individual units are doing, that is quite an impressive feat. Final Frontier is developed by Stutter Fox Studios and is published by Hooded Horse and is expected to come out this year and we'll be covering it when it gets released. Number 1. Starfield Now, Not much is known about Starfield other than it is Bethesda's first new franchise in over 25 years. The game is said to be an RPG in space, which is making a lot of players excited, as they are already pictured it being uh, the Elder Scroll but in space. Now, as far as I am concerned, I've always liked a good, immersive and believable RPG in space. Kotor and Mass Effects were absolutely epic, but there isn't much to play with titles of, uh, for current generations when it comes to space RPGs, and hopefully Starfield will live up to our expectations. Starfield is expected to be featured at this year's virtual E3, and hopefully more details will be unveiled. Now, it is also rumored that the game won't be released anytime soon, and that Microsoft, which recently acquired Bethesda, decided to take their time before releasing the game in order to avoid a fiasco similar to uh, Cyberpunk 2077's. And that is it for uh, today's uh, video, the 5 upcoming space games to look for. Would you have put anything else in this list? I would have loved to talk about, for example, Ubisoft Star Wars upcoming 
title, but uh, there's even less that we know about this title than Starfield, so that's why I didn't make it to the list. Uh, but anyway, uh, please help the channel if you like this kind of content by giving it a like and sharing it, as it greatly helps with the uh, algorithm, especially since the channel is not monetized yet. Don't forget to also please hit subscribe if you want to see regular updates. This has been The Eradicator. I wish you all a great day, and I'll see you guys later. This video is brought to you by the people who support this channel on Patreon and via the join button as well. Supporters of the channel get access to lots of cool perks such as access to my private Discord, your question answered in the show, you get to know when I'm going to play, and also, you get to have a chance to influence the editorial line of the channel. Any help is appreciated, starts at just a dollar a month. Thank you very much for watching, this is The Eradicator, and I'll see you guys later.